we are about to embark on my bird wall. I got my photo leisure, my shelves, 56 inches, and we got marked out the wall. <laughs> and marked out the wall. I feel like we need to move. Okay. I can reach the back. Okay. We're going to use some alien tape. It's like fancy, it looks like fancy citry tape slash command center tape. It's like really big, thick. So we're going to, we do, do we need a, a cutter? Yeah. So I was inspired for making a photo ledge wall. So I'm, it's like four and a half inches wide by 56 inches. I'm gonna put some alien tape. We're gonna level it, make sure it's where we want it to be. And then we'll put in the screws and it came, it came with its own hardware and level and everything. Uh, just got this. So we'll see. We're excited. I'm excited. Our, excited. I'm excited. All right, see this? Okay. All right, so I just cut like, what, two and a half, three inches? About right. If you're like my wife, you know, she likes to move bird walls around and stuff so yeah i'm fickle the word is fickle i so we were gonna just do alien tape and then i thought no i i really think we need to screw it into the wall even though it's all painted and beautiful um let's do this i gotta pull off the back end of the Try not yeah, to touch I've your fingers on it. Okay. Thumb. All right. Level, level-headed, and jelly. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay. the top first, right? That's the bottom. All right, I'm moving the camera to show. I put just a piece of washi tape to show where I wanted it, and then we left it level. And then I measured equidistant on each side of the wall. This is 56 inches. And I put alien tape on this side, on that side, and then on both the ends. All right, so we're gonna try to, we'll do the same thing again with the alien tape on this. Uh, so, got my. Yep. All right, so we're gonna level it again and put it up, and he's gonna put it up just below that washi tape marker. And again, we're gonna try our best to get it that seven and a half inches from the wall on both sides. We're not professional, nor do we claim to be. So it may not be perfect and that's okay. So we're gonna get this done though. All right, we're gonna set it back in the center of the shelf again. See? I'm so excited. Yay! <laughs> and we're level. Awesome. I'm excited. Right, Stay tuned for more bird wall shenanigans. I'm gonna go. I gotta go crab. All, crab. I gotta go grab all my cross stitch stuff. Here we go.
Alrighty, I am really excited about this. This is my bird wall. I have the purchase the photo frame ledges from Amazon, thanks to Susie Reno and her beautiful house inspiration. So I put them above my TV here. Nothing fancy. And I'm gonna take down my two Christmas birds and put up the other birds that I have stitched. I'm gonna leave Dream up. It's autumn, but I don't care. I love it so much. Of course, I love my cardinals, but I am gonna I'm gonna move them to make room for my other bird pieces. So this is Wild Violet Cross Stitch. Her bird piece. It was on the cover of I want to say the December 2020 Just Cross Stitch issue. I stitched that. This up here is out of the book. Blackbird book. This is a puffin on painted on wood. This is Dream. This blue egret. This is Prairie Schooler. They're two different of the flower fairies, and I put them together on a piece of like even weave fabric. I think it was a 28 count, like a light blue that I got at the thrift store, frame also from the thrift store. I have my piece, the boobies framed. That was a card that came with the whole kit when I bought it from Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches. This is my winter puffin piece. This is a punch needle piece. It was in the mega holiday 2020 issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And that is my own original design. This is a freebie piece here on blue. It's like a Caribbean blue color linen. And it's from Barbara Anna. It's one of her freebies from 2020. A little decorative plate because I love it. This is another Barbara Anna piece. This is her Patriotic Eagle. I'm not, I think I want to say it's the ABC Patriotic Sampler. That was in the summer issue of 2020. Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine. I framed it. This is by far one of my favorite frames in the entire house. I got it at a thrift store and I framed it. Here is, and I know it's not a bird, but this is my yellow submarine sampler. It is on 18 count blue Ada that I hand dyed myself. I've got to finish it and get this hanging on my nautical wall. Here I have an art print and I love it because it's got little tiny little blackbirds on it. And then I have a little collection of hand carved wooden and ceramic owls. And then who doesn't love a milk glass chicken? So this is my bird wall and I'm hoping to have the other bird that I finished. I got to fully finish them and get them up on the wall and I'll be putting away my Christmas sampling stitch stuff. So here is the bird wall where it will do the eagle going up. Go up. Go up? What's here? Is that the Hummel chickens? Yeah, and that is the woodpecker. No, it's not a woodpecker. It is, that's the eagle on wood and then... No, that is the I was talking about oh, that. Oh, that? Oh. So, so it, it, that is the yard bird. And yeah, and the eagle and the puffin. And, and, and I help mommy do that. Yeah, you help me. Can I show, I'm going to pick up um, beach song, beach dance, and just let everyone know that you do put your screws in the back of the ledge. Yeah. Okay. So, if you want to hang something, you get to hang it right there. Yeah, so I'm staging this scene if I like the finish here on bird dance. So that's not done. And I wanted to put the doilies up. I thought it'd be so, fun. And yeah. this right here is Petite Point. It's on a vintage yeah. vintage handkerchief. And then I put the tatty doilies up and all the good things. So what do and we say? Go. Thank you so welcome and 